Hi everybody, Jill here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already. And remember to hit that bell icon because it'll notify you the very second I upload a new video. So today's video is all about thin lips. Now this pertains to any age. It doesn't matter how old you are. If you have thin lips, um, this may hopefully give you a couple tips that is the reason why you tuned in, I'm assuming. But aging lips, I feel like I do need to address that. Aging lips that are thin and just in general and uh, you know what you were born with can be a little bit more challenging because of what happens you know, to the tissue as it falls and drops. So we'll talk about that a little bit as well. Okay, so you have thin lips and you want to make them look their best and if you're, you know, over the age of 40 and 50 and 60 and so on, you know, we're kind of shooting for to, to look as youthful and vibrant as we possibly can. I'm a, so it's the elastin and collagen that really forms the foundation of our skin and that elastin is kind of this it just kind of it's like it weaves in and out and it's this really nice structural component to our skin and then the collagen is what keeps our skin looking youthful and supple and and you know it all helps and they both work together to keep our skin really buoyant and up and <laughs> resistant to things like expression lines and eventually wrinkles but as it breaks down, all of that just starts kind of breaking down and that foundation that keeps our skin up starts breaking down and our skin starts drooping and sagging and everything, everything just sort of starts going down. That can start happening in various ages. Really, it's very sort of individual as to how your body is going to decide to age and when those cells start doing what they do. Um, so it is very individual. There will be, you know, a 30 year old that looks like maybe they're 45 and vice versa. You know, you got a 45, 50 year old and they, you know, have all of this going on and they look 10, 15 years younger than they are. But it happens to all of us eventually at some point. Now with thin lips, that falling, you know, what happens is, is that, you know, right here in the corners of our mouth, everything starts kind of falling and tucking in and over the natural lip line. You know, that that's, happens even if you have really beautiful full lips. You know, the very corners start tucking under, falling over that nice natural lip line that may have been here, and now everything is tucking in, you know? and. The falling is what causes marionette lines, and eventually you have kind of this thing going on, which is all part of the natural process of aging. But when you have thin lips, now if you have full lips, you're gonna see that, but the falling may start you know, a little higher up, and, and you're not losing a whole lot of visual sort of um, lip fullness there. Thin lips, it becomes really evident, and you can lose your lip line altogether you know, all it just gets completely tucked under. So all we're gonna do is we're going to, when we do our lip liner, we're gonna assist that a little bit. And we are going to give the illusion that instead of climbing underneath that lip line and following that with our lip liner pencil, we're gonna bring it and just, you know, stop it up a little higher there. It's very slight, but it's powerful, as with a lot of fun little techniques in makeup application. Littlest, the littlest things can be really powerful, and it can just give you just that little something something. So that's what we're shooting for today, that little something something. So I'm going to be using um, a combination here of my Tom Ford Nude Vanilla and I'm gonna go in with a much darker lip pencil because I want you to visually see this, but we are still gonna make this very soft. Soft, blendable looks are, are just that. They're very soft, but yet you're still getting the benefits of little techniques that you could be using. Um, the combination I actually really do love with this is doing the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude with the Nude Vanilla. Uh, 
uh, it's kind of my favorite, but I'm going to be using actually an eyeliner pencil. This is NARS Larger Than Life in brown. These actually, I am finding, make lovely lip pencils because they're not too creamy. Um, they don't feather out. They're, they're not considered waterproof, but they're very, very close. So these, these actually make really great lip liners, I find. So this is the dark brown. Now I'm going to do this and then I'm going to talk you through as to how I'm doing it because I can't talk and do the lip liner at the same time. So I always start lining my lips here at the bow of my lip. And you can actually make this part of your lip look a little fuller if you don't dip down quite so much. If you have a very prominent bow in the front of your lips, you can maybe not make it go straight across. That can look a little bit, I don't know, it's not something that I prefer. But you can kind of draw on top of the lip line just a little bit, just like we're going to do down here. But what I like to do first is just kind of start right at the top of the bow there. And I'm going to draw right on that natural lip line. I'm not going above it at all. All right. So right about here is where my natural lip line, because of aging, has, it, it, it just abruptly drops down right there. But I don't want to do that. I want to give the illusion that it, it hasn't quite done that yet. So I am going to open my lips a little bit and I'm not going to tuck it in at the end. And I'm also going to start drawing a little bit on top of the natural lip line, not over it, but just kind of a little more on top. Right there. Can you see how I gave a false impression? My natural lip line actually gets tucked right out here. I'm taking it right here. I'm going to exaggerate that. And I am going to stop it here, but it's not here. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing that. And I am going to kind of. So now, what I, now I would obviously do my other side right now, but I just want to sort of compare here. So I really love to soften that lip line as much as I possibly can without completely erasing it altogether. So I like to just take, you can take a Q-tip. I just take my pinky and I'm just gonna really soften the underneath. And then I'm going to take a clean pinky once again and drag it right over the top because I want that line to be very, very soft everywhere. So when I put my lipstick on, it, it's going to be there. It's going to give it its nice, you know, little kind of frame and um, keep my lipstick where it needs to be, even though eventually it will probably feather. That's something that happens with age as well. But so I ended this right here, where that is not where my natural lip line is at the moment. All the way there. Now, down below, we are going to give a little bit of an illusion that we have a bit of a pouty lip. Uh, both my top and bottom lip are a little thin. So I am going to, usually all of our lips jut out just a little here. And we're going to just line that right there. I'm not going to line underneath the natural lip line, but I'm not going to line in it. I'm going to line right on the very top of that lower lip line. And I'm going to go straight across. I'm going to make a, a straight line. I'm going to make that a little darker for you guys to see, a little thicker. 
So my preference on how I like my lower lip line to look is I don't want it to, I don't want to take that line and continue it and follow it a little bit even kind of, you know, over the natural because then I have this kind of look that to me looks a little bit overdone and I want sort of a soft natural look. So what I like to do is I do take it to the very edge right through here and then when I get right around here, I start tucking it actually inside my natural lip line. It's actually gonna go a little inside. And so what that does is it kind of gives me a powdery, pouty sort of lower lip, but it's not gonna look um, too overdone. It, it's gonna look more natural, I think. So let's do that. Do you see how, do you see how it's actually now tucked under instead of taking this and following it all the way out? The other reason why I like to tuck it in and do that is it's gonna give the illusion that my upper lip has a little more fullness right here in the corners. If I were to take this line and sort of still take it and drag it just over the natural lip, so all through here and stop it. It's not gonna accentuate so much what we're trying to do with our top lip. So again, I wanna soften that. By softening that line, in no way are we diminishing our efforts. It's just gonna make the whole look at the very end look really pretty, soft and youthful. Really tucking that in at the bottom. So if you have quite a, a really pretty you know, it's your decision. I think really pretty bowed lips are, are just pretty. And, but if it annoys you a little bit and if you want to make uh, that less, then rather than follow your bow into that little V, you can uh, just draw just on it like we did down here. I'm not a big over drawer. Um, I'm, I'm either on that lip line, the very edge, or just a tad under it. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a, a lipstick. Now, this is one of my favorite nudes. I have two that are absolutely my favorite. This one, which is Nude Vanille, Tom Ford, and another one, which is by MAC, and it's called Creme de Nude. And it's just more beigey, something I would wear maybe with a, a warmer sort of color. This is a very blush pink, and this has a little bit of a hue of that going on here. So we're gonna do this. Now, do you draw over? Do you put this right on top of your lip liner or do you just go right under it? I tend to go right up to it, but then I'll soften it. I'll take my finger. and I'll soften that a little bit. Now, here's the time where you can put a little something that'll jump at you right in the center of your lip. Kind of do that, it'll go on the top and the bottom. I have to be real careful with that myself, although I love to do that. Because anything that may be a little bit glossy, um, anything that's gonna be a little more creamy than the lipstick itself that I'm using, it's gonna travel. It doesn't matter how little I do, it is gonna end up traveling and it's gonna start falling out the corners of my mouth. Not a good look, but that's what happens. I still love to do it. 
Now this one is, is really kind of a, a nice alternative because it's a foiled, thicker sort of lip paint slash gloss. It's not real glossy. This is a Makeup Geek and it's called VIP. It's really pretty. It's sort of a rose gold color and I can get away with something like this a little more than I can if I were to put like uh, the white Russian lip gloss, which I absolutely love. But this one I can, it'll, it'll behave itself a little bit better. The idea of putting something a little bit either glossier or something foiled like this is that the light's going to catch it, it's going to jump at you, and so that's going to kind of give an illusion of a little bit more fullness there as well. But lining your lips and practicing with your technique is what's really going to hone in that illusion even more than if you were to use, you know, just a lipstick and a gloss and hoping to get some fullness that way. The big question is, what if I don't line my lips at all? Won't that give me sort of a better, sort of a, a more of a full effect? Well, in my experience, I would have to say in my own, what I'm dealing with is no, because I am losing my lip line sort of altogether. So I need to recreate a lip line. And with doing that, it definitely sort of makes my lips pop a little bit more something that you can totally experiment with, see what works for you. Also color wise, lip liner wise, experiment with that as well and see what combinations you like the best. And uh, don't shy away from medium darker lipsticks just because you have thin lips, because I really do think it sort of lies in how you line your lips, but I do kind of tend to go for the lighter side. And I really think for me, it's because I like to play up my eyes and have my eyes become more of the focus of my whole look versus somewhere else. So that's it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for the viewer who suggested I make this video. If you have any suggestions, put them down because more than likely I will get around to doing it if it's something that I think it sounds like a fabulous idea. So I thought this would be a great idea. Thin lips can be challenging no matter how old you are, and especially when you become of mature age. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, again, I hope you will consider to do so. Hit that bell if you haven't already too, because that's going to notify you the minute I upload a brand new video. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.